Oh, what the f There you go, let her eat! Dude, it was epic following Darren, and this is what happens. So stop one, day one, DFD trail ride three. Yeah, three. Um, we are at uh, the gas station because Utah gas is a dollar a gallon cheaper than California gas. So we had to get some of that. 4.73. And uh, I just paid like 6.73 in California, probably more, honestly, Jesus, Louisus. Dixie 4x4 is right up the road waiting for us and they are going to help lead today. Today is going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> There's a lot of characters here today and uh, we're going to be following Darren so yeah and Blake's here too. Oh my god I forgot about Blake. You want some shampoo? <laughs> if you're out here if you ever have a destination like this that you want to go on um, this is obviously the trail that you want to hit in southern Utah. It is amazing and that's why I contacted Bryce and um, he's happy to lead us on this one today. So I'm going to kind of scumbag you guys but not really because Bryce is the one leading the way and I just hope that you guys can go experience this trail as well because it is truly an amazing trail and uh, I'm excited for my family and everyone to go on it today. So, let's go! Uh, hello, I'm Nick Eisenhower. Um, I'm currently in uh, Sand Hollow, Utah. Uh, I'm trying to find Darren Parsons. I'm driving a Jeep. Apparently he has a Jeep. We're gonna go do some Jeeping, I guess. Uh, he's got some trails planned out for us. Gonna do some adventuring and kind of see what this beautiful place has to offer and hopefully not wreck anything. We're going Jeeping. <laughs> All right, here we are at the trailhead. This is a... Uh... Turned out to be a lot more people than I thought we were going to show. The UTVs found out that we were going to do this, but uh, so they all came along, which is everyone's welcome, of course. But um, these are the guys that um, I'm leaning on today for information on the trail and whatnot. They're the ones that know it. They're local to this area. It's Dixie 4x4. And uh, this gladiator obviously is extremely gnarly. So. We'll have him run us through uh, what's done to it here in a little bit, but uh... Randy, you ready to get this going? Let's go. Alright. Let's get going before these people all lose, the, all lose track of what they're doing. But. started and we're already dusted out. Blake, how dusted are you right now? Uh, scale of 1 to 10, 69. <laughs> yeah, like, what's happening? <laughs> but we're in for some good times right now. Um, we're doing what everybody's telling us not to do. We're following Darren. Yeah. So uh, we're, we're gonna see what happens. Man, this Utah scenery sure is beautiful. Oh God. Oh my, oh God. my God. Oh my God. We're jeeping. Rule one of jeeping, take your seatbelt off. Rule two, get close to the steering wheel. The tack crocs really saved the day again. I got this call on the radio. Hey, your fellow gladiator brothers needing a spot. So, there I was. Drop guy. We may have the first road repair. Oh, oh, no. Why do 
I feel like this could not be good. Big Jeep guy. That's Gladiator Brothers, you know. There's just really nothing like a Gladiator day on the trail. The longest. I'm just so glad to have Nick here and a, and a fellow Gladiator out here tackling this stuff today. The longest, lowest car here. Dude, we're making it work though. It's like the mid 400, but in a Jeep. Just don't look at the front axle or underneath it or the back axle or the rocker panel over there. Or the yeah. How many miles home? A lot of them. <laughs> Let's go. I hate this so much. right now and um, don't follow Darren. So, top secret tip, that's not a secret. Buy a bucket of KFC chicken the day before you go out on the trail, stick it in your Smitty Built fridge, and then you have a solid trail snack because cold chicken is fire. Poor Nick. He uh, decided to be a gladiator guy with me today, and uh, well, he's kind of getting stuck everywhere. Really not too excited about it. Alan, you're gonna need to be buying more parts soon. But, you know, um, he will make it. Um, I guess it's uh, someone just don't follow me and then you won't have these issues of getting stuck all the time. So, we're out here in Utah and for me, a staple of Utah, every time I've come to Utah, I see Dixie 4x4. So I was excited to reach out to Bryce here and be like, yo, I got these DFE series. And it's kind of awkward, but I need you to lead us on a trail today. His family has got deep roots and history in this area that's really awesome. So introduce you guys to Bryce here from Dixie 4x4. This is like one of our two iconic water trails in St. George area. Yeah. It's just like water. Water and trails just makes it so much more interesting. I don't know if it's just because I'm from like the, the desert, desolate <laughs> desert where there's no water. You get on either but, side of this canyon and it's the same desolate. You saw the dust on the way in. I right, mean, just yeah, to get it's crazy. We're gonna end up at Twerkerville Falls here shortly, which is like the iconic picture spot. It's, uh, Blake's already claiming he's jumping in to clean off. And you're gonna drive right across the top of the waterfall and it's a wide waterfall. So as you go, it splashes the water out. Like it's a killer epic backdrop that's, you know, one of the places you wanna go while you're out here. Absolutely. So again, honored to be here and be doing a DFD. That's not led by Darren, but led by Bryce today. DFD by Dixie. <laughs> DFD, hey, don't follow Dixie today. Hey, even better. Him and his wife are leading the way, and this is his awesome Gladiator, which you guys will skip to right now. Um, it's obviously a, a staple of their business and what they do out here. So if you guys are interested in builds like this, check them out, and uh, keep on supporting those who support us. The drive we got a three liter diesel it's got the bigger eight speed trans the four to one tk so it's got dynatrack 60 80 40 spline inner outer so it's just beefy it's got the fox 3.0 with a three link up front and it's got a fox 3.0 coil over on a trailing arm in the rear pulls about 18 inches of travel on the rear 12 in the front works good for an all-around rock crawler makes it go fast it's got kc pro 6 light bar it's got the flex air force it's got the kc rock lights 
Um, this thing's set up for night. Everyone, we turn them on at night and it lights up everything. 43 inch Mickey Thompson's, 7075 aluminum links. It's a pretty built Jeep Bob Gladiator. You know, it's, it's a cool, fun, all around Jeep for our shop. Hey guys, I'm Holly Fowler. This is my 2017 Wrangler built it up pretty big to do some cool rock crawling. We have the 42 stickies from BFG. We have the KMC wheels. We have the King shocks right here. Super awesome, keeps everything super smooth. Love the ride. We've got Warren Factor 55 PRP seats in there. Everything is super comfortable and love going out. And we have the KC Flex Arrow 4 lights right here. There's just a big rock right there and it's hard because like even where Blake's parked right there in a four-door JT, you want to be like way around and pivot. Just you'll diff out and you're going to get hung up no matter what diff unless you got like portals, you ain't going over that. So for her, she had a high clearance long arm rear suspension where it wasn't hanging up, where his trailing arm was just, you know, there's a lot more travel on his, so you gotta get better geometry. It has to go where it has to go. Rock crawlers, you're trying to compensate for high clearance and a little bit of where things need to go, if that makes sense. Darren got hung up on a gnarly spot, Blake packed it with a bunch of rocks, and the UTV guys are just smashing over it, so pretty cool, man. MVP of this trip for sure goes to my gladiator brother over here. Yeah, absolutely. Nick Eisenhower, wheeling the stock-ish gladiator. It's a limousine. Lift with 37s, and yeah. what? You made it. Yeah, we made it. We drug over everything, but we're here. We made it. Yeah, we've, we've been in the back of the pack all day, but we're here. Right. Well, they had a tent, so realistically, they were set up to stay tonight yeah. in the first place. Yeah, the RTT definitely causes a little tippy, so you gotta be careful there, but. What does RTT stand for? A rooftop tent, for those of you that don't know. You can put it in the sub-caption right here. What kind, of, uh, what kind of rooftop tent you rocking? Uh, I don't know. Do you want a flop tent later, it may, it may maybe? Tree. We can flop tent. Flop, let's flop tent. Flop tent and hang dong. <laughs> So we made it. Torquerville Falls, this is the spot. You know, I've had some people ask me before, like how much fuel is it gonna take to get to each spot? Um, this is a great reference. We got 22 and a half miles to Torquerville Falls from the road, and we have like another two miles out of here, and then we're gonna loop all the way back to Sand Hollow. So, stoked, great day. <laughs> Everyone's made it. Uh, drug some diffs, had to take a couple different lines. You guys all see it. All have seen it by now, and uh, we made it though. And again, another journey where it said don't follow Darren, but now it's don't follow Dixie, I think. DX, DFD is don't follow Dixie this trip. This isn't something where I like to make things exclusive. I want everyone to be able to come do these experiences and enjoy these places we're able to go. Uh, if you've got a vehicle, it's equipped. We took a Gladiator through this. It's stock on 37s with just a freaking puck lift on it, and it made it just fine. Kind of. Ask Nick about it. He's not too stoked right now, but I made it. And we're all here now, all having a great time, and that's what it's all about. So let's go. Yeah. Yeah. 